Sports presents Thursday night of the NBA. And tonight, and Greg, here we are, not yet halfway into the season. For players, has the wear and tear already set in? It, it can. Sometimes it's the accumulation by the end of a season, but other times it's just a challenging stretch that can leave you real. So the opening lineup for the Heat, Hero in its shooting guard with Butler at small forward. Adebayo is out there with MP. And it's Richardson in at the point guard. Well, high percentage looks are always a good idea. MP could build a career on shots like that if he wanted to. Toppin can't get it to go. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Rick Carlisle gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. And we talked about facing off against Jimmy Butler. The coach said, you have to compete. No one in the league plays harder than Jimmy. He's a guy who gives his all on both ends, so you can't take one possession off. Jimmy Butler, truly a two-way star. Guys? Thank you, David. A young guy who is ready to attack. Matherin gets the ball and goes straight into his shot. Here's Clark. Toppin pulls it in. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert. Very often. The Pacers shooting their first foul shot of the night. And we've got our 2K insider, Shams Charania, on the line. Shams, what's the story? Well, guys, after their run to the conference finals last season, the Pacers moved to secure their roster moving forward, re-signing Pascal Siakam and Obi Toppin, and then extending Andrew Nemhard. With a young team that's already shown so much promise, there is upside in staying the course. This team should have some staying power for years to come, guys. No doubt about it. All right, Shams, we appreciate the report. Now, MP. Following the three-point attempt by Tyrese Halliburton. Sinks the triple. Nice possession. MP giving him a great look there. Indiana's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Top it. No one around him. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. Matching baskets from the perimeter. An earmark of today's game. Yeah, sometimes you get in a shootout like this, but you just hope that you can get a stop first. Now, here's MP. And then Clark slams it in. And MP is young enough, you know he's always going to finish that playoff with the dunk. Looking at Miami, they took their win in their last game against Cleveland. Pass to Nemhart. Butler against Matherin. Banked in off the glass. Matherin's got five now. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. If he gets into a good rhythm early, watch out. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. One, and the dunk by MP. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. Pass to Nemo. Burton against Richardson. And Turner kicks to Toppin. And a miss there on the triple. For Miami, they've gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Now, here's MP. Toppin covering. Here's Clark. The rebound by Turner. Pacers have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Halliburton for three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. And they did just what they set out to do in that game. I mean, they were definitely the ones dictating pace, style, and tempo. Yeah, the whole challenge is controlling the game and being able to do what you want to do. They did that perfectly. Nemhard, the pass to Turner. Burton against Richardson. Got a hand on it. Shoots it. And that one's good by Clark. Eight points for him. Well, he's had it going offensively, helping them build this lead. Here's Toppin. And Toppin throws it down. And very few young players see the floor as well as Halliburton. 
it really shows just how impressive his ceiling is as a playmaker. Now, here's Clark. He had a career game last time out, bucket Ooh. after bucket. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Halliburton against Richardson. Pass to Nemhoff. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Count that one from Toppin. Well, what a quarter he's had. You can tell he's in the flow. They should be looking for him every possession. Clark kicks to Hero. Toppin against MP. And it's Clark slamming it down. Now, this is what we want from MP. Night after night, an energetic performance on the offensive end. Pacers trail by four. Nemhard with it. He had ten points in the win against Charlotte. Here's Toppin. Oh, good on the triple. Miami's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Clark, and timeout is called by Eric Spolstra. He's made the decision. He wants to huddle up with his guy. And some changes here for the Heat. Robinson's checked in for Hero. And it's Rogier in for Richardson. Duncan Robinson. It's Robinson high post. Butler dishes to MP. Six to shoot. Back to Butler. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Miami. Well, they've tried to really capitalize inside. They clearly believe they have an advantage down there, and they're trying to exploit it. And one more thing they've done well tonight. They've attacked the rim viciously and have gotten a lot of points by just going at the defender. Look at how swiftly MP moves to the rim there. Pass to Toppin. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Halliburton's got five assists in the game. Here's Clark. Toppin pulls it in. Pacers trail by six. Seems like every time, Greg, we see Tyrese Halliburton, he's wearing a big smile on his face. Talk about a guy who just loves this game. Halliburton is such an enthusiastic player, and that positive attitude really infects his entire team. Clearly, MP has been well coached already on how to support a fast break play. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. MP inside. Top and covering. No good from Clark. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Halliburton passes to Toppin. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. And he's shooting five for eight. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Here's Toppin. And Toppin throws it down. Well, if you're going to let him get that close to the rim, that's what's going to happen. Leaving no room for error with the slam. Now, here's MP. He's got 18. Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. It's a smooth dish from MP. That's talent and teamwork. Pacers trail by six. At the top of the key, Turner. Fires the three. Toppin can't get it to go. Miami's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Outside Matherin. Halliburton inside the three-point line. That one no good. Now this hasn't been his quarter so far. He's really struggling to get going. Here's Clark, and it's Clark with the finish. What heart by him, people. Back there and converting. So, Stan, you can talk about this. We always hear about heat culture, the Miami franchise, from top to bottom. Um, everybody is all in and focused in one direction, aren't they? Yeah, Kevin, I think that is the greatest strength the Heat have had as an organization is they are all on the same page. 
and I think they've done it in large part, is they have great continuity. If you just look up and down their staff, guys have been there forever, and that allows them to have a very consistent culture. And teams have tried to copy that, and it's been very hard, hasn't it? Well, it's been hard because the part they leave out is the consistency part. You can't build that kind of culture when you're making changes with your coaching staff in your front office every two to three years. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Talk about finishing with power. MP showing the rim no mercy there. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Kevin, thank you very much. Jimmy Butler remains the Heat's franchise player. He says, the confidence my teammates and my coaches put in me, it's a lot. They hype me up out there and I just go play. I try everything in my power to make sure that we win. They trust me with everything. Kevin, he's earned that faith. At DA, he tends to deliver in the biggest moments and always has. Hey, we thank you for that report. Now, here's Clark. 25 points in the game. There's the steal. And here is Neesmith. Down low. Pass to Turner. Five on the clock. Over Clark. Shots good by Turner. Turner's got it back down to within single digits for Indiana. Turner with the steal. Here's Shepard. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. Yeah, and getting out in transition allows for some easy points before that defense is fully set. MP with it. Guarded now by Jackson. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Cherish... Decides to call timeout. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Here's Halliburton. He had a 30-point outing their last game against Charlotte. Yeah, and the effort on the boards last game gave them that many more chances. Butler against Matherin. Here's Nemar. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Halliburton in the backcourt. Nemar to his side. In the post, it's Toppin and Turner. And it's Matherin in at the small forward spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Now Toppin following the three-point attempt by Josh Richardson. Halliburton on the wing. Richardson cover. And the rejection by Clark. Here's Butler to the inside. Kicks it out to Richardson. Back to MP. And they double up MP. Good ball movement here by Miami. And it's Butler missing. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Halliburton, no good. The Heat with the lead. Clark outside. 131 left to play in the first half. Here's Butler. Oh, tough play by Butler. And Butler tremendously strong for a wing. That really helps inside. Halliburton against Richardson. Halliburton sets the pick for Matherin. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. The kick outside to Butler. Butler is screen on Toppin. Clark dishes to Butler. Look at the attack of Butler in the lane. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pacers trail by five. There's 42 seconds left here in the second. Here's Nemo. 
and it's off from three-point range. And Clark has got the ball here for the Heat. They've led by as much as 10. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. Yeah, but if you get an open look, you got to think about taking it no matter how much time is left on the clock. Now, here is Halliburton over Richardson. And with that, the Heat lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Halliburton. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, it's certainly worth it to disrupt the offense. Coaches notice that extra effort. And so it's the Miami Heat with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well on this one. A great performance from the field. And we'll be right back after this. Hey folks, welcome to the Halftime Show. A lead right now in this one for the Miami Heat. I like how they've been hitting the boards, man. Playing real hard, that's great sign for the second half. Yeah, but the score is close. And if they want to pull away, we got to do more than rebound. Now it's time to check in on how the Rookie of the Year race is shaping up. You gotta like what we're seeing from MP. All he do is win. So no surprise if he takes home the Rookie of the Year award. All he does is win two, off to a fast start in his professional career. He's NBA ready. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Well, he's already put in a full day's work. They might want to lighten the load on him in the second half. On the court for the Heat, Hero in its shooting goal with Butler at small forward. Clark is out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Richardson in at the one. To the middle, here's Butler. And there's Butler with the flush. Yeah, and Butler working as the screener that time. You have to appreciate his versatility. Richardson against Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Richardson. Halliburton inside the three-point line. Rebound by the Heat. Well, he's more than comfortable in the mid-range, but you can't make them all. Hero with the screen on Turner. MP with it. Halliburton picks him up. And here we go. Fast break. Halliburton's got it. And that one drops. Halliburton's got five. Getting out on the break. Nice finish by Halliburton. Great execution for the team. No good from Clark. Pacers trail by three. Catherine and passes to Turner. Climbing in, and Turner throws it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And guys, you cannot allow that in a close game. You have to make it harder than that. Clark dishes to Butler, kicks it out to Richardson. Butler passes to Clark. Shot clock at five. Corner shot. Butler, no good. For Indiana, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. Dan, you know, if you think about Jimmy Butler, and you and I are fans of his game, talk about a guy who calls it like he sees it, though. My goodness. Yeah, that's an understatement. Look, <laughs> Jimmy's never going to hold back. He'll call out his teammates. He'll call out opponents. He'll call out the referees. This guy acts with no fear. Just don't call out the broadcasters, right? We want to stay out of his out of his range. <laughs> and he would have no reason to. Uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and he is a load inside. Turner can back anybody down to get to his sweet spot. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. I don't know what the heck happened there. That's just a careless turnover. 
Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. And so it's Rick Carlisle here calling timeout. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. And here are the Pacers now. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Perry's the long-range jumper. And it's a four-point Indiana lead. Oh, great ball movement there. Miami's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Butler sets a screen for Clark. And they get it. And it's Butler with the jam. Butler getting something right at the rim. And he says thank you very much. Pass to Toppin. A three ball. It's hauled in by the Heat. Autobio's got four rebounds in this game. MP passes to Autobio. Halliburton with the steal. And he's going up for the alley hoop. It's stolen by Adebayo. MP with it. Matherin picks him up. Yeah, Adebayo there throwing it down with a little attitude. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Left side, Matherin. Pass to Turner. Over Adebayo. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. He'd have gone three or six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. MP passes to Butler and slam dunk by Butler. Yeah, Butler's getting whatever he wants right now. He knows how to dissect the defense as well as any. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Where there's a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting, Greg, what's your opinion of that? Well, Kevin, you know, stretching the D isn't just about how far out they have to defend. It's the distance between that and how far in you have to defend. That's why analytics favors shots at the rim and from distance. Pass to Nemhart. It's hauled in by Hero. Hero's got his fourth rebound in this one. Well, he hasn't had a great night shooting the ball, but they're in the lead, and that's the only thing that matters. Well, Greg, we saw in the 2024 regular season that these Pacers actually led the NBA in assists. Averaging over 30 assists a game. Now, that's ball movement. These Pacers really trust one another and love to share the load offensively. Here's Nemhard. He's covered by Hero. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Clark's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. There's a screen to the paint. Here's Butler. Ah, Butler hits it with traffic. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to Matherin. Here's Toppin. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. It's MP muscling his way for two. The desire to win, it, it fuels MP. It, he doesn't let anything get in his way. Toppin passes to Halliburton. Bounce pass, Toppin. Indiana moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. Pass to Nemhart. From downtown, it's hauled in by MP. MP's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Matherin. Now, here is Halliburton. Back to Matherin. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Matherin's got 13 points. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. Yeah, and where has the defense been? They've been content to let them fire away. They've got to close out to the arc. 
Ouch. Unbelievable <laughs> jam from a player who's given us more than his share of greatness in his time. You're right, Fred. Defense was nothing but an afterthought on that drive to the hoop. Well, if you give up that lane that easily, you got to expect he's going to attack the rim with some force. Halliburton with the bucket. Saw, saw the defender closing, and Halliburton got it away in a hurry. Butler is screen on Chapman. MV passes to Butler. It's stolen by Matherin. Here's Nemhard. Richardson cover. Now, Nemhard. He's got five. Turner with a screen on Richardson. Pocket six. The shot by Turner, no good. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And it's out of bounds. Let's see, they say last touch by Matherin. And some changes here for the Pacers. Neesmith, he's checked in for Benedict Matherin. And Shepard subbed in for Andrew Nemo. And Miami with a change here, too. Ogier's checked in. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Heat. Well, they've been owning the painted area offensively. I love the intensity they're playing with down there. And they've been working things through the post tonight, flexing their strength on the block. Turn. Great D that time from Adebayo. The Heat leading by four. Here's MP. And it's a great finish! Oh, oh. oh my. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Pass to Neesmith. Back to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Rogier. Halliburton passes to Turner, and Turner throws it down. And using that improved court awareness, Turner continues to make plays out of the pick and roll. Here's Clark. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got his fourth rebound in this one. Inside. It's stolen by Adebayo. Turner with the steal. Now, here's Neesmith. Defended by Butler. Halliburton outside. Now, here's Neesmith. Defense is right there. The shot by Turner, no good. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They've led by as much as 10. Pass to Butler. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got five rebounds tonight. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Kevin, the Pacers obviously push the fast break. Tyrese Halliburton says the emphasis is getting outlets and running, playing fast. That's a good identity to have. It's a team that people want to play for, and it's a style you don't want to play against. You've got to be ready to play us. Kevin, the idea is for them to wear you down. They fly, David. Baseline to baseline. They can really go. And Turner throws it down. Hard to stop Turner in close. As soon as he has prime positioning, he is going for the slam. Here's Clark. It's rebounded by Neesmith. Indiana's gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. Gets it to go from beyond the arc as we approach the fourth quarter. Still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. And here's Hero. That's good on the assist by Clark. Hero's got nine points. And how about Hero's body control? Capable of still... against Jackson. Clark left side. Back to Rogier. MP inside. 
Jackson on him. No good from Clark. Pacers trail by six. Halliburton in the backcourt. Nemar to his side. Jackson and Turner man the post positions. And it's Neesmith in at small four. That's the Pacers five. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. MP inside. MR covering Clark. Heat moving the ball around. The kick out to Rogier. Clock at four. From six feet. No good from Clark. Pacers have gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. Neesmith, the pass to Halliburton. Jackson setting the pick here for Halliburton. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Halliburton's got nine points now in just the second half. Jackson against MP. Oh, wow, what a great move inside. That is incredible. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. And they've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. What a move, MP! If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, and how great have these offenses been for these teams tonight? Just fantastic execution. Jackson passes to Nemon. Turner with a screen on Rogier. He's off on that one. Great D that time from Adebayo. Well, he just doesn't have it right now. It's as simple as that. And his team is struggling as a result. And any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Well, converting on those transition opportunities is just so important. Pass to Halliburton. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. And he uses the glass on the way. Wow, he's found his game offensively here in the second half. Really has turned things around. And we'll have a timeout called by Eric Spolstra. And that timeout by Coach was carefully measured, wanting to make sure that everybody is on the same page here. Obi Toppins checked in for Indiana. Benedict Matherin comes in for Aaron Neesmith. And then for Miami, Butler, he's checked in for Otto Bayer. And Hero subbed in for Richardson. And the dunk by MP. Oh, taking it to the rack with power hammering down the two-hand slam. Outside Matherin. Good defense by MP. Oh, nice job protecting the rim. Turning an easy bucket into a miss. Butler off a pick from Clark. Shoots. Shots good by Butler. Butler's got the lead up to 10 now for the Heat. And he's never been shy about asserting his dominance. This is classic Jimmy Butler play so far. With the step back. Here's Nemhard. He's covered by Hero. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, the rebounding battle tells the story. There's a big gap between them right now. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Halliburton passes to Matherin. It's Nemhard on the wing. He's covered by Hero. Toppin can't get it to go. Now the Heat with it. They're on a 12-4 run right now. And up the court come the Pacers on the break. Here's Matherin. Rebound by the Heat. Hero kicks to Rozier. Butler passes to MP. There's the pick. MP to the rack. Stan, we have so many great players in this NBA. I mean, every night, from top to bottom, each roster, there are so many great players. But in your opinion, who is the toughest to game plan against? Wow, that is a tough question because there's so many of them where there's no good answers. 
You know, let's take Jokic, for example. If you play him one-on-one, he's going to score virtually every time. If you come in, double-team him, send the second defender, he's going to make the right pass all the time. There's no way to absolutely stop him. You just do the best you can to limit their team. The great ones always have answers, don't they, Stan? If they didn't, Kevin, they wouldn't be the great ones. That's right. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. An unorganized defense like that is not going to help them close this deficit. Pass to Turner. Back to Nemhard. Shoots over Hero. A shot by Nemhard, no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Clark inside. Nemhard covering. There's Hero with the three. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Halliburton passes to Nemhard. In the corner, it's Toppin. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And they double up MP. No one near Adebayo as he lets it go. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Well, clearly Adebayo's feeling very confident firing out there from the perimeter. Nemar. And the Pacers can't get it to go. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Adebayo with the screen on Turner. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, the Miami Heat have always been in contention, Stan, for the East, and you've worked in the organization. Why is that? Well, look, Kevin, I'll admit to a bit of a bias here, but they have a great coach, maybe the best in the league. He's been there since 2008. That consistency and continuity really helps, and this team expects themselves to win no matter what they go through. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Yeah, defensive breakdown there. Gotta communicate and switch that screen. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. Yeah, and at this point in the game, just protect the ball, make smart decisions, don't give them a chance to get back in the game. Here's Halliburton. Here's Toppin. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Clark against Toppin. And it's a great finish! Oh, oh my. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Miami. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game, and I think ultimately that earned the W. And now, for the year, this is going to take him to seven wins. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for MP. Well, his triple-double stat line is evidence of his impact on this game. And it's a great finish! Oh! Oh, my gosh. That is not possible. What we just... Is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but, like, impossible, like you said. Hero against Halliburton. Here's Turner. And the rejection by MP. To the paint. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Toppin. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Yeah, they saved their best basketball for this home stretch, and they certainly earned this one. Toppin against Butler. Pass to Nemhart. That shot off. 
Great D that time from Hero. Clark outside. Hero with the screen on Tottenham. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll wrap it up, folks. So for Stan Van Gundy, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see.